There we go, Jorge Derecho, you know, George Strait, Jorge Derecho, you know, Jorge, George, Strait, Derecho, uh, okay, I explained that one, I mean, how much more, how much more plainer do I need to explain that? Good morning, Double R Radio, Robert Rivers Radio, Wednesday morning update, Wednesday it is, 7.53 por la mañana, <sighs> you know, yesterday, um, when I was done doing the Uber Lyft thing, I stopped by, um, where did I stop? Oh yeah, I stopped by Banana Billiards, Banana Billiards out there on uh, San Pedro and Woodlawn, and I gotta tell you, um, before anything else, I've got a lot of memories, a lot of memories of Banana Billiards out there in San Pedro and Woodlawn, and uh, they've been closed for a while, I don't know, maybe a couple of years, something like that, they've been closed for a while. Well, anyways, uh, they opened up again, and I passed by there a couple of times, and I was really, really curious. I wanted to stop by there and check it out, right in my old list of drinking home, my old rop and stopping ground, banana billiards. Well, I went over there yesterday, and I gotta tell you, I was a little disappointed. I know they're getting started again, but it just didn't seem the same. The atmosphere, the ambiance, whatever it was, I don't know. Um, like I said, I know they're just starting out again, but I just, I said, man, if this is the way it's gonna be here, whatever, I'm not coming by here anymore. I mean, I just... I don't know. Like I said, I was, you know, to, to you know, just to, you know, just kind of like uh, go and stand, just pretty much uh, stand. <laughs> Put it the way it is, I was very, very disappointed. But I had a couple of beers there. The beers were $2, happy hour, good to go. But I don't know what I was expecting. I just know what I wasn't expecting, and that's what I saw there at Banana Billiards. Hopefully, yes, they get everything straightened out. But if that's the way it's going to be, then I'm not going back over there. That's all I'm going to say. 7.55 in the morning. Let's do some good morning shout-outs here. Well, here we go. Good morning shout-out. going to to Sylvia Cervantes Bustos. How are you doing, Sylvia? Anyway, Diana asked you. Sylvia gets after me. She goes, Robert, Robert, I only saw two morning show as the clips on YouTube. I didn't see three, Robert. Where's the third one, Robert? And I go, hey, man, settle down, Sylvia, settle down. Settle down. It's going to be okay, Sylvia, settle down. Sylvia wants me to do three. Music vi music videos as the morning show videos for my YouTube channel. Not two. She wants three. Robert, I want to see three. Oh, she'll be cracking that whip. Good morning, John. I'm going to have to Diana Esquivel. Good morning. Eva Peña Valero. Good morning. Anyways, Christine Garza. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Este, Valerie Martinez. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Anyways, este, let me tell you all this. Yesterday afternoon when I was done doing that, I stopped by Bananas, had a couple of beers. And I said, one more beer, one more. So I stopped by Chili's right over here on Broadway 410, and I had myself a cold beer, Shiner Bach, and I ordered their guacamole burger. Let me tell you all this. If ever you go to Chili's, and if you like guacamole, get the guacamole burger, man. It was bam, bam, bam. Heck, man, that guacamole burger, bigger, that guacamole burger was better than sex. It was better than sex. A couple of girls are going, oh, yeah, Robert, well, call the guacamole burger at 2 in the morning, Robert. Okay, I'll call the guacamole burger at 2 in the morning. No, but really, man, it was an excellent hamburger. Check it out, the guacamole burger. Good morning, John. I'm going to have to Ruben. Junior Rivas. Good morning, Maria Lopez. Good morning, San Antonio, Texas. Ana Lira. Or is it Lyra? Ana Lira? I hope they got that right. Good morning, Primo. Rogelio Rivas. Good morning, Primo. Este, check this out, man. Got some crazy stories for y'all. Um, check this out. Um... Where does this happen at? Does it really matter? Oh, anyways, as there, um, lately, some car companies have been trying driverless cars. Now, maybe you're going, what does that mean, Robert? That means that uh, car makers are making cars now where they pretty much drive themselves. They don't need a driver. Figure that one out. Well, anyways, the Los Angeles Times reports that six crash reports were filed in California this year, two involving robot cars, cars that drive themselves. Can you imagine, I can't imagine this, can you imagine being on the road driving, you're at a red light, and you know how sometimes you glance to the right, or to the left, or is it to the left, to the right? Depends how you're looking at me. But just say you're glancing to your side, right? And you see a car there with no driver, <laughs> with no driver beside you, and the car takes off. And you're driving, and you're alongside a, a car that doesn't have a driver. I go, what the hell? I'd stop. Honestly, I would stop, pull over, and go, and then, go ahead. I'll wait till you get maybe two or three miles down the road. Then I'll go again. I wouldn't trust it. Hell no. I'm not going to trust a car that's out there with without a driver. It's on autopilot. 
I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I would be very nervous. Can you imagine being on the highway? When I'm going 75, 80 on the highway, and you look to the side of you, and there's a car with no driver <laughs> going right beside you? I don't think so. Turn it around the other way. Let's say you're going down a one-lane road, and you see a car coming your way, right? You know, not the other side, but coming, and the car has no driver. <laughs> going, hey, man, that car doesn't have a driver. I would be very, very nervous. I really, really would. Man. I, I would pull over, man. I'd say, go ahead, man. Go on a couple of miles, and uh, I'll see you later. I don't want nothing to do with that. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Luby Zamora. Good morning, Christina Garza. Good morning. There we go. Christina says, I love guacamole burgers. Right, Christina? Guacamole burgers are awesome, aren't they? They're excellent. They really, really are. Uh, Manuela Guzman, good morning, good morning, good morning. Cynthia Gonzalez, I'll be in Houston, Texas. By the way, Cynthia, I'll be sending out your T-shirt today. People have told me, Robert, Robert, where can we get one of those T-shirts like you're wearing? You can get it through my website. Just go to robertrevisradio.com. Click on the store button and you can order your t-shirt right there. They're 20 buckaroos. You can't go wrong. 20 bucks. I will ship it to you at no additional charge. So look, I don't care where you live out there in the country, in the world, whatever. Internet radio. I will ship it to you at no more than $20. All you're doing is paying for the t-shirt. I will ship it to you and I'll take on the shipping charges. That's, I'm such a nice guy. Or if you live here in San Antonio, I will personally deliver it to you, okay? Yeah, I'm a nice guy here, man. Nice guy. You can order your collector's item t-shirt. Now, check this out. I love this story here, man. Check this out. Video was released in Jefferson County where there was a bar fight with three men. Now, you're probably going, Robert, what's so big about that, Robert? People fight at the bar all the time, Robert. Well, no. This was different. <laughs> this was different. <laughs> check this out, man. There was a bar fight where three men were fighting, and one of the men was throwing chingazos while he was holding his four-year-old daughter. <laughs> He's holding his four-year-old daughter and throwing chingazos. He has his daughter there, and people were quoted as saying that his four-year-old daughter was saying, Dale la madre, dad! Dale la madre, ese cabrón! That four-year-old daughter, man, she was rooting her daddy on. Daddy, daddy, hit him over here. Daddy, hit him, daddy. That four-year-old was cheering on her daddy while daddy was throwing chingazos. Well, the chingazos went on for five or six minutes, but everything had to stop because the four-year-old told her daddy, 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 I gotta go poo-poo. So the daddy goes, I'll be right back, carnales, and we'll keep on throwing chingazos, but my four-year-old's gotta go poo-poo. So he took her, went to go poo-poo, came back, had his four-year-old in his arms and said, Okay, Daddy, Daddy La Mare! And then again, the Daddy started throwing chingazos and Daddy La Mare and all the guys there. What kind of a guy has his four-year-old in his arms and is throwing chingazos with his four-year-old cheering him on? That's crazy, man! <laughs> and even more so, the little girl going, Daddy, Daddy! Daddy La Mare, Daddy! And then there you go. So anyways, uh, the three men were arrested and the four-year-old was also arrested and uh, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> the four-year-old was arrested for enticing a fight, for throwing more gasoline on the fire by telling her daddy, Dale la madre. There you go. Uh, let me see your T-Town story. What T-Town story, dude? What are you talking about? X-Man, Xavier Olivares says, good morning, double R. There we go. Morning, brother. Uh, T-Town story. You want a T-Town story, dude? Oh, no, no, no. No T-Town stories today, dude. I got too many of them. Andy, <laughs> I can imagine my grandbaby baby me and telling me, Grandpa, Grandpa, that is a mighty grandpa. I don't think so. I'm not going to do that, baby. I'm not going to do that for you or anybody. I'm not going to jail for you or anybody. Anyways, it is Wednesday morning, hump day Wednesday. Let's get it going. This is something by Patrick Hernandez, Born to be Alive. Buenos dias. There we go. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Anyways, no doubt, X-Men, I was a banana billiards man yesterday, and it was weird, dude. It, the, the, the lighting was very, very low. The pool table seemed to have, like, black lights on each pool table. It, the ambiance was really dark. It was like a romantic kind of a setting, but you're playing pool. I can't myself be... I, I don't see myself being in a romantic setting playing pool. It just doesn't work. I, I don't know, man. It's, uh, I had a couple of beers, dude, and I got out of there. I just said, no, man, this ain't going to work. So I'm going to Chili's instead and have a guacamole burger. And that's what I did. No lie. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, robertrevisradio.com. Click on the blue button that says mobile app. Click here, and you'll be joining me live. Let's get to the morning show.